Glendale Police K-9 Officer Duke right here was hurt while in the line of duty. And he's going to be okay, but his days are working on the street while well, they're over. And he joins us now with his partner, Officer Wilson. Uh, thank you so much for coming in. And Alex Baronian from the Glendale Police Foundation as well. Thanks for coming in to both of you. We appreciate it. It's our Tell pleasure. us about thank Duke. He's us. awesome. He's so cool. What happened to him? Duke is a four-year-old Belgian Malinois. He's been with our department for the last two years. Uh -huh. um, and he was born with a spinal problem. Okay. So he recently had spine surgery. He's in the process of recovering. And unfortunately for us, he's going to be retiring mm -hmm. in the next couple of weeks. Oh, wow. And you're going to adopt him, your family? That is correct, yes. Oh, good for you. Good for you. How old is he? He's four. He's four. I mean, they're so important to the force, right? They play such an important role. We see them out in the field so much. Absolutely. What is it like to be out in the field with them? It's definitely a lot of work. We yeah. have to be extremely patient when working with them, but mm -hmm. they provide a great asset to our department. Yeah. Um, keeping our officers safe while we're doing our searches and high risk searches. Right. Um, and they are an extremely important asset to us. Yeah, he's so sweet. Look at him. Um, tell us what people might want to know about Glendale Police Department's canine program. Um, it's mostly funded by private donations as well, right? That's correct. We're mainly, okay. we're, we're mainly um, service from the don donations that we get. Mm -hmm. um, our dogs are extremely expensive. Our training is expensive. Yeah. The average price for a trained dog is about $13,000. And then all of our dogs are cross-trained. So that's roughly about another $10,000 worth of training okay. uh, on top of any other courses that we take um, and surgery and medical costs. That's a lot. Yeah, it's quite a yes. bit. And you've got a big event coming up to talk about to help uh, raise money. I guess you have two positions open, is that right? We do. We have okay. uh, two uh, canine positions right. we're trying to fill, okay. and we're doing our first ever canines night out uh, this Thursday starting at 5. There'll be a meet and greet with the canines and their partners. Nice. Duke will be there. Uh, there'll be silent auctions, prizes, wine tasting, proceeds uh, from all of the sales that night are going to directly benefit the canine program. Great. And we're hoping to collect donations that night and through our website, gpf911.org slash donate. Great. So if you can't make it to the event, just hop online and raise some money that way, too. Exactly. And it's a 501c3, so Great. it's a nonprofit. All of our donations are tax deductible, yeah. and uh, they're all going to the dogs. And how long is their career with the canine? I mean, I'm sure it all depends on you know, injuries if they happen, but what's a typical career for a canine? Well, just like what you were talking about, sir, it's going to depend mm -hmm. on the breed, mm -hmm. and it's going to depend on the age that we get them. But on average, yeah. uh, we're hopefully looking to get roughly nine years out of service. Wow. And unfortunately, with Duke, we only got two years of it with service. Right, right. He's such a sweet guy, though, right? Yes. Is the family excited to have him at home as well? <laughs> uh, yes, we're trying to go through that transition process right now. Um, he's doing pretty good so far. I mean, and as an officer, you also have to go through specific training as well with the canine, I imagine. Yes, sir. So I'm getting ready to go back to school um, in about two and a half weeks. We'll get a new dog. Okay. We're going to get a new dog next week. Um, down hopefully in Riverside, okay. and then we'll go through a six-week course of training. That's awesome. Do you guys get to name the dogs? Uh, usually not. Oh, okay. No. They already come with their names. Yes. <laughs> Tell us what else do we need to know about the foundation, about the canines, uh, as people get ready to you know, click on the little donation button for you? I think we have all sorts of levels of donations, mm -hmm. so whatever people can give. Um, right. We don't have set levels. So Great. Anything they can provide helps us out, helps us provide for the dogs, the handlers, and uh, continue to provide the service that they do for our community. And we appreciate all the service you guys do and the canines. And thank you so much for coming in and sharing your story. And we'd love to help them out. For more information about the Glendale Canine Officer Fundraiser, head to our website, kkl9.com. Click Scene on TV. Love this guy, Duke. We'll be right back.